easy way to get rich. Dwarves are trained in fighting at a very early age. Over frequent squabbles with neighbours are more of an entertainment than a tragedy to them. It's well known that besides gold and ale, dwarves love a good fight, best of all. Dwarven warriors are famous for their fortitude in battle. Their strength and stamina, an excellent armour and weapons, and multiplied by dwarven courage and stubbornness, make dwarves excellent infantrymen. Dwarven warriors' uh, combat qualities are best revealed when fighting in the hills. If a dwarf is holding a hill, taking him down is no easy task. Uh, hills knowledge. Um, he's extra defense when fighting in the hills. Okay. Then a halfling. Uh, the halflings are a peace-loving race. Uh, nevertheless, they are able to stand their ground. They aren't trained in martial arts, but practicing with a sling is one of the small folk's favorite pastimes. And a steady eye is a trait they all share. Besides, halflings are very agile, so they dodge uh, enemy blows uh, effortlessly. So they have precise shot agility, so they can't get counterattacked. And they've uh, this uh, ignores up to one of an enemy's ranged defense. And they can also just keep collecting ammo. The legendary, and these are champions of light, the elves. The legendary elven archers enjoy a glorious reputation on all shards for a reason. Having such an archer among your troops is a great piece of luck. Uh, elves are an unrivaled marksman. Besides, elven bows and arrows are a real treasure. No one's ever figured out the se secret of their manufacturing, which is jealously guarded by elven craftsmen. Elves feel at home in the woods. Uh, they effortlessly find convenient paths, and sometimes it seems that the trees themselves protect elven archers. Elves' main disadvantage is their vulnerability in melee. Braceful and slender, elves don't have too many hit points, so it's best not to let the enemies engage them in melee combat. They can also do double. This guy can do double shot. Uh, they force knowledge and then a better precise shot. Dead. Dead. He went to, uh, intentionally went to take the hill. Cool. Uh, 54 coins and one crystal. And he can get discipline, range tactics, or defensive tactics. Um, defensive tactics. And give him extra counter attack, extra health. Uh, there's curse and feathered arrows. Uh, 218 coins and 16 crystals. Enter building. Uh, no store. Necromancers. Hmm. New. Search province. Uh, our troops. Here's an extra swordsman. Grab that. Grab him. Sorcery store. Ignored. Chant pool. Examine it. Uh, new retreat. Temple White, examine it. Uh, talk to the priests. Uh, do, you, uh, do you need my help? Uh, I'm ready. Okay. I have to put down ghosts. Okay. Uh, grab leadership. Uh, oh, that is... Oh, Christ. Uh, the deputy of the province of uh, Palnitopia informs you that a hero known as the Snake Hunter has turned up in their lands. He had slain the giant snake, which kept the whole province in fear. But the locals hardly had any time to rejoice when a new trouble began. The huge spider, the huge spiders, giant snake had preyed upon, are now breeding and attacking locals. Um, hire a team of adventurers. The adventurers discovered the spider's lair and killed the spider queen. Now these spider raids should cease. What about killing all the spiders? Okay, I have to take another place. Damn, he's doomed. Attack. Still haven't actually grabbed a necromancy. Dead. Need to get some range units, because all I have here is melee. 
good melee backbone is important, but you need range to back it up. Oh. Unlike what the song says, people, suicide ain't painless. They really don't want to go try and fight in the swamp. I was hoping they would, that's why I was leaving it open for them. But, kill. 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 And I got a simple cap. Uh, grab. Improve counterattack. Prince's lands, Prince's lands. For the province for a moment. Um, run temple, drones. Okay, now I have some money. So, construct building. Uh, necromancy. Constructed. Okay, examine it. Demi's doomed. It's just five goblins. The hero Valinar has uh, approached a half-destroyed ancient tower. The inhabitants of the old citadel have noticed him and are preparing for battle. I need to do more of these little dungeons. Um, pow. The guy nearest to the one that I just destroyed just took a... The chunk of a morale hit. <laughs> we have movement, movement decision there. And he committed suicide. Six gold. Uh, improved their counterattack. Improved their hit points. 90 coins and three crystals. Um, construct buildings. Um, I still don't have enough for them because of the gold short, uh, the iron shortage. I don't want to mess with the prince. You can diplomatize uh, his people to siding with you, but again, you need a scout with diplomacy. I think you might just need to go get that local militia thing. That building. Just so I can put something down. Half the population in Loaves refuses to work. They demanded your deputy ranges a holiday, inviting the traveling circus performers and artists and providing free drinks and food for one day. After such a holiday, the people promise they'll resume work and work more diligently than before. Uh, let them sort it out themselves. I'm broke. I'm broke, lads. They're very discontent. Okay, fine. Um, since I don't... S okay, recruits. It's not a very good idea to bring together the first recruits who come across to form a troop, but when the enemy's at the gates, there's no other choice. Recruits are very poor, are, are poorly trained and of low morale. Nevertheless, they, uh, nevertheless, at least the province they protect would not be completely defenseless. It would be a good idea for me to be over here. Um, 
reduce army upkeep. That would be a good thing. A large show of travelling performers has arrived in the province of Bloody Swamps. The locals are poor and can't pay for the show. The artists are prepared. Subjects are asking to pay the for festivities. Drive away the vagabonds. Yeah, they've drive away the vagabonds away from the province. The people are very depressed now. These entertainments do nothing but harm. Huh. I'm just broke, lads. Give me a bit. Uh, attack. It's imps. Okay. Probably gonna die. He's dead. Okay, we still can only do that once. Yeah, I have no equipment on. So, um, yeah, thirty-two, six. Uh, increased hit points, increased range resistance, and I got an enchanted well schematic. Oh, actually, no, I have to go to like here. And this will, uh, you have one gem per turn and significantly increased population growth. Speeds up the restoration of unit hit points by 10 and improved population mood by 2. Yes, build it. Uh, examine it. Uh, retreat for a moment. Hire troops. Do you think I could take here? Okay, let's do it. Don't. I'm not a fan of starting out on the swamp. I'll have to move forward straight away. Trying to make this guy relevant. Whatever. I'll move back next turn. Dead. 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 Coins, uh, range defense. Um, we need to get a in, and I'm putting down an a pub here. Uh, get the adventure guards here. Uh, exploring. Iron deposit. Examine. Attack. Uh, spells. There we go. That will be cheaper for me to get the other buildings that I want unit-wise. Uh, well, not unit-wise, but, uh, you know, the uh, crossbowmen and spearmen buildings. Actually, maybe I could not get the spearmen and get... Might be able to get something else instead. Cause I'm not sure if I'll be even using the spearmen, you know? I'm happy with swordsmen. Dead. Dead. 
did. Uh, get this. Increase hit points. And now I can just get this so much cheaper. Um, I was building a mine in a hill in hilly provinces. Hmm. Okay, grab this. Struck building. A mine. Increases income by five, iron income by two, marble income by four, metro income by six. Presumably if oh, but only if you know obviously the building is already there. So it will increase income by five and iron by two. Actually no wait, 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 wait. I've just forgot how this works. Um you don't you can't accumulate resources. So I guess it, since I have iron here, I get two extra gold from this province. That's what it means. And if I had Metro, I'll get six extra gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... I misunderstood that for a moment. I'll get two bits of iron each turn. Okay, attack. Sadly, the undead don't really allow you to um, do that little, you know, kill them, raise them as undead thing, like you can with other enemies. So it's a bit of a nuisance. Did I ever read the zombie one? Uh, read. Uh I think I did. Okay, attack. Attack. Uh, 12 coins. Uh, improved counterattack. Counterattack. Toga and crank crossbow. 209 gold and 15 crystals. Um, construct building. Get a armory. And. In turn. Examine it. Attack. Oh yeah, there's an, a unit you can get in the game. It's like a uh, uh, witch or master of undead or something. I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to need to kill those guys ASAP. Um, but basically any enemy they kill in melee is raised as a skeleton automatically. Uh, sorcerer. Those devoted, uh, those who've devoted their lives to magic and sorcery are often forced to join the army to make a living. Battle sorcerers are highly valued by their commanders. The ordinary warriors dislike them for their for dark deeds most of them usually engage in. The sorcerers can strike their enemies with ma uh, with magic and cast on them uh, curses of vulnerability. Most experienced sor sor sorcerers often learn other kinds of uh, spells. For in school of necromancy, sorcerers are weak in melee combat. Whenever they are forced to fight a melee, they cast a special curse that decreases their opponent's combat uh, attributes. Uh, attributes. Ow. Dead. So much for the the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Dead. 